Music producers, it's Curtis King at CurtisKingBeats.com and today I want to show you how I create my own customized beat visualizers right here within FL Studio. Let's talk about it. So for starters, let's go ahead and open up this plugin in the master channel. Go to Z Game Editor Visualizer. So the first thing I usually do is add my content by clicking on that tab and then adding pictures. Two things you wanna keep in mind. One, you wanna have two different images, one being a background image and another one being what they call a PNG image or basically a transparent image with no background. So for starters, I have this Killmonger background for this beat that I have called Killmonger. And then here you see the PNG. So now as you can see, it's a transparent background. That's important because basically we're going to take these images and lay them on top of each other using the layers within Z Game Editor Visualizer. Let's go ahead and add both of those. The sizes of those are 1920 by 1080p. That's going to ensure that you have a high quality 1080p video for your YouTube video. Now, once those images have been added, go back to your main tab. And then the first thing that you want to do here is click on this drop down menu for the first layer and then go to image. This is going to be your background image. The way that the layers work here, they go from bottom to top. So every time you add another layer, you're adding something to the top of the prior layer before. So this is going to be the background image. So to assign our image to this, we have to go to this image SRC and then use Killmonger HD background. As you can see, there's a few different options here. Like if you wanna kinda of mess around with the opacity, they call it alpha here. If you wanna mess around with the height, you can do that, and then the size. But this is the biggest we can get it in this preview menu, so that's all we gotta worry about. The next thing, we gotta add that PNG, that transparent image that we're gonna put on top of that, that we're gonna actually put our audio visualizer bars around. So what you wanna do, click here to add new layer. Once again, go to image and then assign this image to the circle. Make sure the size is all the way up. Something I like to do before we get the actual visualizers, I like to add some kind of scenery to the background that matches the beat. And we're gonna add something called flow noise. Oh, it looks pretty, but our background has disappeared. Why? Because this is now the top layer. Now in order to blend that in, basically take the alpha up, you can take it all the way to the top, but I just want to kind of see some of these streaks here to give it a little bit of mood. Now this effect looks pretty nice, but what I want to do is put these behind this image that is the center point of my video. So what I have to do, if you have FL Studio 20, and I believe it works on 12 as well, you can actually drag this layer over so that it falls behind the image. So let's take the flow noise one as well. So the next thing that we're gonna add is probably the most important portion of this video, which is the actual sound bars that react to the music. So what we basically do, we add the layer, scroll over, then we go to the drop down menu, and then we go to polar. Boom, now we have it. Now it's not aligned. And keep in mind, sometimes it's like a weird glitch in 20, at least that I've experienced, where you have to reset the entire FL Studio to make sure they show up. So don't fear if they don't show up, just reset it and come back. So basically now we have to align the X and Y axis so that it aligns with the center image. It's not that difficult. So all you gotta do is basically go ahead and scoot it over the best you can. So we're gonna go ahead and drag this behind the image. And as you see, we got sound bars. So something I like to do to stand out amongst all the visualizers, I like to change the color of my bars from that basic white color that we all use. So to change the color, what you gotta do is go up here to this paintbrush tool and then just pick a color that you think fits best. I tend to go for a slightly brighter color than the original color that's in this circle right here. From here, we can mess around with some of the other options. So this kind of messes around with the opacity once again. This changes the hue. This gives you the style of bands and how wide you want them to be. Now, if you're finding that your bars are going a little bit crazy, it's probably because your magnitude is too high. So just take that down. The thickness of these actual sounds to the point where you don't even need to have bars. You just basically have this right here. And I actually want to change this to black since it's obviously inspired by the Black Panther. Let's go ahead and change that to black. Yeah, buddy. That's pretty much it when it comes to the design of it. Go to export video, figure out the location. I suggest 1080p, look at the advanced settings, change this to 60, change the frames per second to 30. Audio bit rate, I would at least do 320. 190 is considered CD quality, but at least that. Push start. Okay, now that it's complete, let's go ahead and check out the final version of this video. Yeah. 
So that's how you do that. If you have any other questions, maybe about the specific designs that I did on this particular art in Photoshop, we can make a whole nother video for that. But other than that, peace. Please subscribe to the channel below. Curtis King, CurtisKingBeats.com.